Hi, it's Dr. Alex Popovich and welcome to my channel. Today I will be talking about Spark email application and why I think this is the best email application that is free. Spark Mail is available for all email providers. So for Gmail, iCloud, Exchange, um, Outlook, Yahoo, everything. But as a platform, it's only available on all Mac OS, iPad or iOS and uh, also Android. At this stage, unfortunately, it's not available for Windows. I really enjoy using Spark Mail application. And this is because one, it has a pretty clean interface. It's not as clean as Tempo or Newton, but it is pretty beautiful. Two, it does everything it needs to do without fuss or glitches. Three, it does things that I really enjoy, like snooze, send later, and reminders. Four, could it be better? Yes, of course it could be better, and I will talk about it a bit more further down the track. So let's dive in. This is the web page for Spark Mail. And it talks briefly about what Spark Mailer app it's about. In the end, Spark Mail app is a great app for personal use, but it can also be used for teams. I will go now into my Spark Mail application. And as you can see, it's pretty clean. This is combination of dark and light modes. I like this view during the day and I prefer the dark one during the evening. I'll show you soon how this is done. But you can see it's pretty clean. When you click on any email, it tells you very quickly um, what it is about. And up here you can close this view. Here you can pin it. Here you can mark it as unread. I personally don't use this. Uh, I tend to then just snooze it if I need to do that and task it to myself as a single thing, or I tend to deal with it straight away. This is the snooze button. I do use it quite regularly, and I'll show you how you set your preferences for this button. Archive, delete, move to certain folders, and you can get all different um, uh, things that you can do with it. For this one, we are going to snooze it for tomorrow because this uh, this is due tomorrow and when I go and put my gas in, I can go here and take my discount. And then here you can see what my options are. So we'll go for tomorrow. This one, I don't really want to read or do anything about it. So I'll just uh, delete it. Delete. Snooze for tomorrow. Um, this one, I will go back in and download this. And then I'll um, archive it. Um, I'll probably archive this. Snooze till weekend. And that's how you can very quickly deal with quite a lot of your emails, what you need to do. You can open a bigger view of your email, but you get pretty much the same options here as you do in a single one. So I don't personally use this view a lot. If you have several people on the team, this is where you can share your conversations and deal stuff with them. On down at the bottom, you also have quick replies, which is a great feature that I use a lot like, like, great idea, call me and stuff like that. So I do use this uh, to make my answering of the emails much quicker. Here are the preferences of uh, your um, Spark Mail application. So general uh, preferences pane has a up, um, more preferences up at the top. Appearance, you can change how many lines you do and avatars. You can do your smart inbox, um, swipe actions, uh, 
what you can do on your iPad or iPhone or tablet slash um, I, uh, phone uh, and then quick replies. Um, accounts, explainable, but you can um, basically check what you can do with all of them or just this one, like a no notifications, what folders I can actually uh, see or thrash where it goes. And um, um, I can, with composing, I can automatically BCC. Some people do this if they're moving their emails into certain other folders as well. And you can do the same for different, uh, all the different email addresses that you might have. This is your Teams page where you can create the team. You can use your calendar. I don't tend to use my calendar and my email application in one. Uh, I, I like having my Fantastical, but um, um, if you are a Readle fan and you use their Calendars 5 or Calendars, this is an uh, easy way to have um, things um, sorted as well. Services that you can connect are here. So for me, mostly it's Todoist. I don't use Apple Reminders, but this is where you can do them, OmniFocus and other services. Notifications. Um, for comments and badges and everything and then folders which ones you want to see so the ones that you tick here are you going to see on your on area here so for example if i want to see if i want to see delegated you will see that when i clicked it it appears here but since i don't use teams i don't actually delegate my emails signatures I don't tend to use this for signatures. You're more than welcome to. But I find it a bit cumbersome because um, sometimes I didn't want to kind of have always the same or re all replies go with certain um, signatures. I use uh, Text Expander and that way I can very quickly decide which signature I want to use for what emails. Templates for your emails, again, I don't use them, um, but this is where you can, if you don't use Tax Expander, um, put your template. Scheduling. This is a very important area. This is how you schedule your snoozes, so where you want to have it done. If you don't want later on today, or this evening, tomorrow, tomorrow evening, weekend, in the month, or if you just want to be notified when it comes. I tend to pick a date a lot for the ones that are in the future, so they come back into my uh, inbox. And then these are the shortcuts that you can use for Spark, but also for different uh, mail applications that you want to use. One thing I would really like to have as part of Spark is the unsubscribe option. Often in different uh, email applications, you might have it here when you get a newsletter or something that you can um, uh, unsubscribe directly. I do miss that in Spark and I hope that Spark will have it. If it had that, it would be a perfect application for me. As said, I don't use Spark for Teams um, because I work by myself and I don't really have a team and often public hospitals in New Zealand provide things for um, their staff. If I did, I would definitely use it because I think it's a value for money for what they provide. Here you can actually talk within the team and send yourself a messages. You can edit the emails as a theme and I think it's a actually amazing option. Introducing Spark 2 that changes the way you and your team use email. For the first time ever, you can share an email with your team and instantly discuss it in private comments. Comment on a client's email or get help from someone on the team to create a meaningful response. Ask questions, get answers, and keep everyone in the loop. Create email together with your teammates using a real-time editor. It works like Google Docs, but it's inside your email. The other thing I really like about Spark is its pricing. So um, it is pretty much free for everyone on a personal plan. So there are no limitations at all for personal plans. When it comes to Teams, this is where you start having limitations. 
for some very small teams of two people or three, you probably could get away with a free plan. When you have more, I think then you end up paying per team. But even in New Zealand, at six dollars, oh, this is US, sorry, it's like six dollars thirty-nine or ten dollars a month in New Zealand for user, uh, and I don't think that's that much taking in consideration that uh, even Slack you have to pay for, and this is combination of those two things. The other very good team email application is something like Missive. Um, they're a bit more expensive though per person or per user on your team. In conclusion, I believe that Spark email application is the best free personal email application. Unfortunately, if you're on Windows platform, you at this stage cannot use it on your computer. I know that a team at Spark or at Riedel are working really hard to uh, organize the access to Windows platform. This is probably one of the best, if not the best, email application for Teams because you can send yourself messages and you can delegate your emails and you can uh, finish emails for each other. And I do always come back to this application. I believe, apart from Newton, this is the best email application that I have found and definitely the best free email application. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe to the button below so you don't miss any other future videos and they will automatically come to your inbox. Bye for now.